So we got something really exciting to show you today from Saber Tactical. It's the new FX Impact Fishing Kit. It's Kevin, our sales director. I'm John. Let's get into this. So we got to rewind the clock okay. because I wasn't always at FX, All as right. I think you know, and a lot of you guys know. We I started at Airgun Depot with a gentleman by the name of Cameron Brinkerhoff, who's now with Air Marksman, kind of over with Utah Air Guns, right? Okay. So I got to give credit where it's due because Cameron and I had an impact and we're sitting there and saying, and Cameron said, wouldn't it be awesome if I could fish with this? Yes, And we all said, hell yeah. <laughs> and about three weeks later, look what he created. Awesome. That's the Bubba fishing rig. <laughs> that, that is a, it, it didn't work all the time. Let's okay. just put it that way. Awesome idea, but we always love that idea. That is awesome. Though. So why did it take seven years to come to fruition. Apparently it's really hard to do. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it, it, now the real credit, because look, an idea, is, an idea is a good idea, right? Right. But Val and Thane over at Sabre Tactical got this working. And they've been working on this, I think for about three years, because there's some trickiness to get it working from how the bolt works, making sure the line goes out without snapping, you got the slip sleeve. So as much as it is very much like bow fishing, with the pneumatic air gun, it's a little bit different, right? Yeah, a little more power. Get down! But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Uh, first, how do you get it, right? So Saber Tactical's released it. It's called the FX Impact Fishing Kit. Okay. Um, I believe this is right around $200, $225. And you can add this to any existing impact. That's amazing. Um, it does not come with the reel, but it comes with everything else. So inside, if you open it up, we got, you know, we got... Got two bolts, right? Little fishing, little harpoons. What do we call those? Arrows. Arrows. I like harpoons. Sounds tougher. <laughs> uh, we got all the the part to attach, right? Your loop. That's to that's to make sure your line's going through and not mm -hmm. snagging, because it goes out really quickly. Yes. And to attach your reel, but it does not come with the reel. Um, as far what kind of reel should they pair with this? So the the best reel that you can possibly get is a reel called the Mega Mouth reel. However, any bait or any uh, spin cast type reel that has the bell that you open up and it's open, that's going to work. But the Mega Mouth is going to work best simply because it's going to reel in the most amount of line with every revolution, and you want to get these fish in as quickly as possible. Another really important thing is not to use monofilament line. Use a line that is made for bow fishing right. and i can also tell you from experience don't grab it like that when you shoot it um <laughs> it, it can leave a mark Rugburn, right here not here or here so much but right here now i suspect there's going to be some dealers if, if you don't already own an impact that will combine this right. and put it all together for you so depending on the impact you're picking up whether it's a compact up to the you know 700 i mean you're talking between 22 2400 dollars where you have a, you got a twofer you yeah. got a dual purpose, right? Absolutely. You're going to have your billet slug gun, and then you put on your fishing kit for the weekend. As far as putting this together, it is pretty straightforward. Uh, we're not going to show it here, but Ernest is in next week. We're going to do a little quick master class. the master class. Yeah, just Perfect. to show you how to set it up properly and tune it. So you're not going to use a scope for the setup, right? right? So right. I, I know we put on a red dot. What, what's yes. this one? So this one here is an EOTech. They work great. Yep. Short battery life, but it does work great. And you want to use a TRS type rail because the further you can mount the red dot sight on the rail, it's going to give you faster target and easier target acquisition. Okay, so basically any red dot, but I agree. You could use this with a normal rail. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, that's why not only does this look cool, there's a function, right? By having that further out, it was very quick to use. Well, that's the first rule of life is look cool. So. <laughs> Amen. Now let's talk about what kind of fishing we're going to do. Very important. <laughs> first of all, you're going to check with your local fishing game. Yes. Not only what, because this is not for game fish. I repeat not for game fish i don't think in any state no i mean you cannot any game fish cannot legally be taken by a bow right. another very important aspect is to look up what's called method of take make right. sure that not only that bow fishing is legal in your state and the species of fish that you can shoot but make sure to look up and make sure that air bows are included now speeds <laughs> very important this is very important uh you, if you have this tuned for your slug, stuff like that, you're going to go way the other direction. We're talking regulator down to 100, 110, 120. Um, start with a low hammer and work your way up. So yes. the speed that you want to shoot this is you're going to be in the range of 120 to 150. And I would say 120 is really what you're going to be doing. Yes. Uh, the idea on that is now maybe if you're doing 
really deep lake or something because you don't want to have so much speed that you're going to bury it into the yeah. well, into end of the day you're not going to be able to see the fish in incredibly right. deep water and your this arrow is going to slow down so fast once it right. you're not going to be able to do more than three or four feet uh and you're not going to be able to see the fish more than you know a good 15 20 feet away right. so realistically in a real world scenario you're never going to need that much speed and you don't want to break the line off especially if it's a massive trophy fish that you're going out for right. um and that's where we were shooting this at around 120 and it that's was great. absolutely perfect and you There's could shoot nothing... it you could shoot it further than you're going to see the fish to your point. oh i mean we we actually we took a beach dwell at probably 60 yards so <laughs> It's true. We're going to show you that footage in a little bit because uh, we were out with Josh from Pursuit of Accuracy. He was here yesterday with us. We went on the boat. We had to try it out. We could do different heads. It comes with two heads, right? But you can put on yep. other stuff. So these are absolutely usable. There's no reason that you should have to change it. But there are people in the world like myself that if something else exists, I'm going to at least give it a shot. And these do expand a lot more. It's called Nasty On Scales NOS. Check them out. Yeah, you can have fun with that. Um, outside of that, I do have to emphasize not game fish. So the kind of fish we're talking about is like carp, gar, that kind yeah. of junk fish, Stingrays, right? Stingrays, bowfin, yeah. there's a, a lot of them in the world. And especially like you guys out there in the Midwest states, the invasive carp, literally, they jump out of the water and try to jump in the boat. They're terrible for skiers. I promise you, this is good yeah. medicine for them. Something interesting I found out, did you know in, uh, in the UK, carp, you have to have a license and you have to like catch and release carp in the UK. Guys in the UK are like, you can hunt carp? Over here, it's like, please, yes. come over. Well, come they're over. literally taking over a lot of our inland yeah. fisheries, so it's very so, important. So yeah, Midwest, I know obviously with Thane, he's out in the Utah, a lot yes. of big problem there. And then in the Southwest, tons of opportunity. Oh yeah. Right? We, we wanna go, was it the alligator gar? Yeah, alligator gar. Yeah. Um, I'm personally going to be doing some flounder gigging with this, because that's actually legal in North Carolina. So sweet. You guys are looking at it. It's self-explanatory. It's, it's basically, look, you guys get it. We went out on the boat. Let's show you that footage because that was a hell of a day. That was fun. Great day. So before we go any further, though, I think that this probably has a really fancy name because it's pretty cool. What should we call it? But, yeah, I think this should just be the pneumatic fishing rod. <laughs> I mean, whatever Saber calls it, it's going to be cool, but I'm always going to call this pneumatic fishing rod. Sounds good to me. Let's not have it. <laughs> what else could it be? Let's not have a fishing accident. Let's get started. <laughs> yeah, let's, do, <laughs> let's shoot something. How much over? Not that much. Oh! Yes! Oh! Oh, Headshot. Got him. <laughs> Headshot. I wonder if it, oh, that's him. Oh, you got him. You really meant. Let me know. Josh can only get fish that are <laughs> beached <laughs> and dying. Only beach. <laughs> you My seriously head. shot a beach whale. Well. You should, you Wait, should be ashamed of yourself. He's a big one. Get locked he's in. He's a big one. <laughs> no, I think he's in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You got it? Awesome. Don't take. Don't Teamwork really makes the trophy. dream. Teamwork makes the dream work, brother. <laughs> and, and I don't have to jump in the water to get him. It's even better. It's like yeah. a win-win. Got him now? Dude, this has got to be 100 and maybe 20, 130. Definitely and a state record. <laughs> I was only holding maybe three foot over him. And that thing, I mean, you got the strap. Oh, I thought you were talking 120, 130 pounds because I'm like, yeah, oh, state record. State record. <laughs> it feels like it. You think he's legal size? He might be taking gaff. on water. <laughs> Somebody, Somebody get, gaff him. Get the tape measure. Let's check him. He's legal. Ah. Oh, check that out. <laughs> check that out. That's, Headshot. That's so cool. Right in the eyeball. All right. So we're going to try and hit something a whole lot smaller. Go ahead and release it. Okay, here we go. And time to die. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> there you go. Well, you split it. That's how I roll. There you go. We don't pollute. <laughs> oh my god. You get it! Lock holder! I thought it was This is why you bring employees. <laughs> I wasn't gonna jump in. <laughs> <laughs> the things you do for love. The FX pneumatic fishing reel. That is the perfect name. You heard it here from Josh. Trademark Josh. Thank you. Uh, just when you think the impact couldn't get any better. Right. This is awesome. So give me your final thoughts. What did you guys think? 
Well, I think the, the real fish are safe. The artificial fish? <laughs> Man, they had it coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were how many, how many yards did you get flipped? I think that was about 40 yards. Oh, I don't think you're going to be using this at 40 yards, but technically yeah. you could. You could. I think it's more what you were doing, where yeah, it's just it, off, the, off the edge of the boat. Yep. And let's talk about that. Make sure, do not go for game fish, please. Obviously, check with your local state fish and game, but it's yeah, if you can bow fish with it, you should be able to use this. So we're talking like carp. What else we got? Uh, uh, carp, alligator, gar. Basically, the check out the stick, yeah. the fish and wildlife uh, website. Anything yeah. that you can legally harvest with a bow, you can legally harvest with this. But if you like your driver's license and your freedom, I highly <laughs> suggest checking that before you go out. We've warned you. Uh, you know. This is an odd. I hope some of the dealers actually sell it combined. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they will. And the great thing is, then when we're done, we can convert this back into a the slug pellet shooter. Yep. Uh, this is a great setup with the EOTech. And what, what's that grip, Kevin? I really like that. That is a Tyrant Designs grip. You can find them at tyrantdesigns.com. They are not paying us anything. We bought that just like any other civilian would, but it is one of my very favorite grips, and they go um, yeah. nicely on the impact. And then I noticed this was that uh, Crofter loop rail that's very nice yep. as well. Yep. So cool set. Up, but okay, the saber tackle fishing reel, uh, man, good job, Thane, Donnie, Val. That yeah. is awesome. Can't wait to go out. Maybe we go for real fish next time. Yep, if we can find them. <laughs> yeah, but awesome. Find them. Uh, look for the master class. Ernest is going to show you guys how to put this together so you know how to do it right. Remember, on, on, on the speeds, 120 to 150. Yeah. yeah. And you don't need that much power. You're going to bury right. it into the ground. And you're not going to be shooting more than 8 to 10 yards because right. you're not going to be able to see the fish. Yeah. Um, that's the, that's probably the, the hardest thing. Make sure you're wearing polarized sunglasses. That's going to be yep. able to help you out a lot. But the biggest thing that I found was how accurate is this thing? It oh. was just, in, it's yeah. like a laser beam. This is awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. Wait, very surprising for me on the holds and how like flat that arrow is flying. If I could steal that from you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we all know the impact is, you know, the M3 is what it is. It's super adjustable. You can, you know, do an infinite amount of things with this this weapon platform. But the great thing about it is, is that this kit specifically, it's not just like a cobbled together kit. Like it feels really solid. Like the Saber tactical parts on here are really rigid, really solid. And when you have this all set up, it's not forward heavy. It bounces in your hand well. And I was shooting this offhand and never felt like I needed anything yeah. but a simple red dot in this kit and to shoot anything that I could possibly ever need to shoot in the water with it. Absolutely. Actually, and I'll add to that because I know the guys over at Saber Tactical, they've been working on this to perfect it for about two years. It's basically been 99% done, but it was get it just right so that you guys wouldn't have problems with it. Yeah. And I love that level of, uh, you got to get to the finish line instead of just racing it out. Yeah. So there you go. Saber Tactical fishing kit. Obviously, you can get it from all your usual air gun dealers. And like I said, please make a combo unit dealers because I know there's a lot of guys that that's going to be awesome. So if you have an impact and you don't have this, you're not a sportsman. We'll take your man card. <laughs> <laughs> but go buy it. <laughs> there you go. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next week.